Hello everyone, sorry about the issue. Looks like the connection just got disconnected for some reason. So I will continue to do the live on this uh, on this link. Sorry about that everyone. Hold on, let me see if everything's okay here. Just a moment. Yeah, for some reason the connection just dis disconnected and I don't know what happened actually. Um, yeah, but looks like everything's working okay here on my end. And uh, I think so, I think this is just the not the connection issue, but I think this is more towards the, uh, the YouTube, like a platform issue for some reason. Yeah, sorry about that everyone, sorry about the crash. Yeah, you know, it's uh it's it's the uh it's the internet and it's a PC, right? Anything can happen here. But yeah, sorry about the hassles. Yeah, so I I see uh, people start to come in here. So, yeah, because the chart is moving, right? Chart has been moving right now. And I see that uh, you know there's no problem on the internet internet connection, so I think uh, YouTube has got some issues, I guess, because you know these days lots and lots of people are uploading videos and watching videos and live streaming. So uh, I heard the news that YouTube's right uh, the server is kind of very heavy right now. So sometimes uh, you know when I try to see what you know, watch movies right or you know animes right on the YouTube. Sometimes I get disconnected. So, yeah. I hope it works for uh, this time. So, yeah, thank you for joining on this. Uh, I mean, not the second live, but actually this is the, uh, like the, uh, you know, the second, second part of the live today. And when it happens next time, then I will just finish the live, right? I will just quit the live for today because I think YouTube's got some issues today. So, all right, all right. Yeah, Sergio, Roy, Mac, Tai, thank you for joining back. Angel and Jeroen, Mac, all right, thanks for joining. Kayon, Lucas, good to have you back here, everyone. Thank you for joining back. So, yeah, yeah, so let me continue to talk about this uh, single spam B. So I was actually on this GBPJPY 4 hour chart and uh, talking about the single spam B, right? So you get the idea of single spam B, right? Actually, I was trying to re, uh, re read, uh, re relaunch to the chat box, right, on my previous live, but uh, somehow it's disconnected too, so I cannot read. Uh, the comments so yeah probably I will after this live ends I will come back to that uh, YouTube live and I will pick up some comments or questions and I will try to answer on my next live but uh, next live all right next next live and next talk on this based on this Ichimoku trend checklist I think it will be sometime next week because uh, tomorrow what I'm going to do is I will be talking about the Ichimoku original book review. So tomorrow I will pick up uh, another part from this original book and I will uh, talk about that tomorrow because the chart is closed. So I think it's timing to review the original book of Ichimoku here. So tomorrow I do that and on Sunday I will do the Ichimoku Forex forecast on each pairs. Each of these pairs, I do the forex forecasting, right, on each currencies on this one. So I'll do that on Sunday. So next Monday will be the continuous talk based on this Ichimoku trend checklist. So 
yeah, I will come back to your questions and comments on next Monday. Yeah, so you get the idea so far, so good, all right, everyone? <laughs> yeah, yep. We like to wait for the master, sure, sure. Thank you for, thank you for uh, being patient on me, on these kind of issues. Yeah, and thank you for joining back, everyone. Thank you for joining back. Uh, it's very nice to see you, everyone, again. All right, Ken Lee, Powell, Fabio, Tanapol. Thank you for joining everyone. Yeah. Gregory Jeroen, thank you for joining. It's Johan and Mr. Fernandez. Good to see you everyone. Good to see you. Alright, alright. So yeah, let me briefly continue to talk about this uh single span B, right? So we're kind of back to the uh the basics, right? Basic this uh Ichimoku Kinko Hyo here. And this is actually the second version of Ichimoku Trend Checklist, or I just name I, I will remain rename it. I think I will change the name on this one, and my I think I will name it Case Trading Strategy, because um, on this one I not only talk about Ichimoku, but also I will I will talk about price actions and lines, and Bollinger Band stochastics and all other tools, Fibonacci retracement expansions things like that to capture the training edges. So um, yeah, so on this one, right, on this public life, right, this will be my trader case side where I only talk about how I take trades, where to put the stop loss, where to take the profit, and when, when exactly to move the stop loss to break even, things like that. And when I take, uh, you know, the real positions, right, when, whenever I take positions on the market, I will talk about that, those strategies too. So this is no more like just a checklist. So, but this is actually the revealing my own uh, trading strategy. So I think I will change the name. And uh, so I am actually creating on this uh, you know, uh, file or PDF. So this part remains unchanged, right? This part remains unchanged. But on the later part, I put a lot of different and lots of new slides, right? Um, so I introduce the tools I use, and I will go over each of each one of these uh, strategies on future lives, so you can expect those too. And also, I will talk about the stop loss strategies whenever I take positions and whenever I put the stop loss. I will talk about this based on this slide. And also, I will talk about the break-even strategy too. When exactly move the stop loss to break-even, right, is another topic that I will talk about in the future live. And also exit timing, right, exit timing. I will talk about the exit timing. Two different situations. I will talk about the exactly when to exit those positions. Yeah, and I will create a playlist for this whole uh, lectures based on this PDF. And I will, um, yeah, explain thoroughly, right, everything about my trade strategies. So, yeah, and that's why I thought it's, you know, I, I thought it's nice uh, today to just review all these uh, single span A, B, and Kijun Sen to capture the trend because this is the backbone of my strategy. So. Yeah. All right. Azhar and Matewes, thank you for joining. All right. You say something about the price action. You use this strategy also, not only Ichimoku and Bollinger Bands and Stochastics. Yeah, I do use price action. Whenever I take trades, I look at the price action. Right. In terms of price action, I mean Sakata Goho. I use Sakata Goho. Because Ichimoku Sanjin, right, the author of the original book, Ichimoku Sanjin also referred to Sakata Goho, and he see lots and lots of um, correlations between Ichimoku and Sakata Goho, and that's why I started to talk about that, and I actually, you know, take these strategies too. Yeah. 
some traders change the settings from 7.26.52 to 5.16.26 or others. What do you think about taking other settings? I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary because um, it's been working, right? Default settings has been working for me. So there's no reason to change anything here. Yeah. Hi Kev, good to see you again. Good to see you again. So yeah, again, sorry about the issue, the connection issue earlier. But yeah, uh, thank you for joining back on this one. I think I will do this live for the next maybe five or ten minutes and we'll close it. But um, yeah, thank you for joining, rejoining on this uh, public live, everyone. So yeah. So, uh, but I think this is the most important part on my strategy. And that's why I take a lot of time on this, explaining about this strategy. So yeah, single span B is a very powerful line to take a look at it, first of all, because it shows where exactly the market has become ranged, where exactly the market is on the trend, right? So by looking at this single span B here, right, it's been flat. The single span B has been flat between here and here, right? And after this, the price start. Uh, I mean, the single span B started to go downward this way. So, in terms of this single span B, when exactly the price started to move down, was actually 26 candles backwards, right? So, if I go 26 candles backwards from here. It was actually exactly on this candle, right? Exactly on this candle. So, by looking at this single span B, right, exactly from this candle, it became a downtrend. It became a downtrend, and it has been going down ever since, right? And uh, this is a very important uh, concept, and this is a very important line to look at. So, yeah, so you get the idea, everyone? Any comments, questions, or thoughts? So far, so good? Do you have a strategy tester for Ichimoku for the Forex tester? Yes, I do. I do. Very interesting and movies about your strategy will be for paid members for everyone. It's going to be for everyone. Yeah, Lucas, it's going to be for everyone. So, yeah, so I will start to put all these future lives, including today, on this uh, new uh, new uh, checklist, uh, not the checklist, sorry, new uh, playlist on the YouTube. I will create the new playlist says Case Ichimoku Strategy, and I will put all these future lives, including today, on this playlist so that you can always replay on this playlist and you can exactly take trace similarly as myself and this is my ultimate goal right so um, yeah my ultimate goal for this uh, YouTube channel public life is actually to uh, to um, for everyone to be able to uh, take trace by yourself without myself right is the ultimate goal so you know, uh, so that you can really depend on your analysis. You don't have to depend on others. You don't have to depend on any other tools, but you can just depending on your own strategy to take trades. It's my ultimate goal on this YouTube channel. So I will put all these future lives uh, on this playlist of Ichimo uh, case trend checklist. I think I will fix the name as this, right? Case uh, trading strategy, case trading strategy. And uh, you will see all these strategies, right? You will see all these explanations on that playlist. All right. When you say I trade based on daily or four hour chart, what does that really mean? The entry is always based on five or fifteen. So my assumption is you talk about exit strategy. Um, yeah. So I take trades based on daily or four, and that means that I look at the trend, right? I confirm the trend on daily or four and take trades. And also the exit strategy too, 
uh, when it comes to uh, exit, right? I look at those bigger time frames and take profit and exit. Yeah. But I take trades based on smaller time frames. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Meaning that if you trade based on 4 hour, you exit wh when there is a favorable candle on 4 hour chart. Yes. Uh, not the candle, but actually I look at the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo too to capture exactly where I start to think about exit. Yeah, so far so good, alright? Basically, what do you really mean saying, for example, trade by 4 hour chart? Yeah, so uh, what I mean by trade by 4 hour chart is, uh, is that um, I, so for example, in this case, I look for the sell chance by looking looking at the smaller time frames but i extend the profit based on the four hour chart is what i mean by i take trades based on the four so i write on the trend based on the four hour chart and whenever i see the confirmation of the the end of the downtrend in four right whether the kijun se might go flat or kumo itself might go flat right Whenever I see any of these confirmations, then I will start to look at uh, the smaller time frames and try to uh, spot the right timing to exit. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. All right, thank you very much already. Sure, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, Brandon, you're winning. That's great. It's great to hear. Do you see when Kumo crosses, no trade, no trend is over, and the next one starts and takes Kumo to determine the direction. Or you just look at the position straight up or down and of course thickness, angle and length if there is a trend or not. Yes, I look at the Kumo thickness and length and the thick, uh, the direction of the Kumo too, the angle of the Kumo. So yeah, today I just started to talk about this single span B. But yeah, before that I look at the Kumo itself whether it should be long enough and the angle is steep enough and also that it's thick, uh, whether it's thick enough or not. I look at that point and I start to look at single span B and A. Yeah. He rises on the trend. Yeah, exactly. Angel. That's true. That's true. Mita Fernandez, Kumo, right? Kumo. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right now. All right. All right. Can you show us the full process on how to take trades? Yep, that's what I'm trying to show. I will try to show all my process on future lives. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. And whenever I take positions, I will talk about uh, how I got th those positions and what I think about that those trades, right? And this actually this. Uh, this template or this PDF is going to be to capture, to capture, uh, to capture a trend, and take trades. And uh, yeah, but I do take trades within the range too. So sometimes, uh, you know, I, you will see me taking trades in the range with uh, different confirmations. Like I look at the time cycles and take trades within, within the range, or I look at the Kijun Sen or Senko Span B, and take trades. So. Yeah, so yeah, just to let you know that this is just a part of my uh, whole trading strategies. But uh, I think this is this becomes very effective because you only take trades whenever there's a trend in the market. So yeah, whenever I take trades based on this strategy, I will let you know. And yeah, I will let you know when I take different strategies to take trades too. Yeah. So actually, it took a lot of time, right? I think it took like four months ever since uh, I started this uh, public lives every day, almost every day. It took four months to create this trend checklist. But actually, this was due to uh, the request for from my uh, subscribers. Uh, you know, one of my subscribers told me to create a checklist. And that's why I started to work on this and I got all these slides to explain fully on how I take trades and how I exit, things like that. 
So, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully uh, you understand, and you can take trades, and you can extend the profit as much as possible. My smallest time frame uh, to take trades is uh, five, five minute chart. Yep, you're welcome, Powell. And Kion, are you glad, Mr. K? Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. You're welcome. Your explanations are very, very understandable. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear, right? Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Okay, you always wait for Kumo to change color before you enter. Um, I all, always wait for uh, Kumo to uh, to go down, to go down. So I don't take a look at the Kumo twist, right? And that's something that I will talk about sometime in the future too. But um, yeah, I don't really take trades on uh, this Kumo twist. But uh, I take trades whenever I see the Kumo itself is moving down, like this way. Yeah. Hi, Aleli. Sergio, thank you for uh, joining. Good to see you. You're welcome. And Brandon, thank you. Thank you for uh, the words <laughs> in Japanese. Thank you. All right, Vic, good to see you. Do you have a video where you analyze and do the trade? Yeah, lot, lots of uh, past lives, past videos. I, I do take trades and I uh, explain how I got those trades. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so that will be my new project here, right? And that will be a new lesson to you too. So I will try to emphasize more, right, on my analysis, on my day-to-day -day Forex lives based on this Ichimoku trend checklist or case uh, trade strategy, case trading strategy, right? And uh, I will try to emphasize and I will go slide by slide and step by step on how exactly I capture the trend, how exactly look at the Kumo, right? How exactly the thickness is, how exactly the length is, and also how I combine with this Kumo and Kijun Sen all together by looking at this daily or four, right? Daily or four, or at one hour. Sometimes I take trades based on the one hour chart too. Like uh, these days, I don't see any trends in four hour daily. So sometimes I, in this kind of situation, I take trades uh, based on one hour. But um, yeah, you will see me, uh, you know, taking trades based on this Ichimoku trend checklist. And whenever I take trades, I will uh, exactly tell you how I got those trades. And when I think exactly to move the stop loss to break even. And when exactly to take profit, things like that. Based on these slides. And everything, right? Everything will be saved on the archives. Uh, I will create the uh, case trading strategy playlist so that you can actually learn uh, based on my future lives according with this uh, PDF. It's my idea here. All right. Good to know I don't take trades also when Kumo twists this is not signal for me to entry. Right, right. Yep. Do you check the chart every day? Um, yeah, basically every day I do. I do. In the morning after I wake up, I check the chart. But I only look at daily of four. And when I don't see any trends in daily of four, in Asian time, I just let it go and come back to after the London session. Sometimes I take trades uh, depending on the London breakout or a New York breakout or a um, yeah, I, I look at one hour chart in the evening in Japan time and uh, take uh, take trades. Yep. Will you talk more about the time theories? Uh, yeah, on that one, time theory is actually more towards the bigger time frame strategy. And yeah, so whenever I see any time cycles, uh, I will talk about that. But I, will, I don't think I will include that one on this checklist because I think this is more advanced and that will be more presented within the Ichimoku members. 
actually I'm writing a book, right? I am working on the book in talking that talk about these three theories. So after completing this uh, Ichimoku basic master book that I offer as one of the perks on this uh, on my Ichimoku community, right now I am working on that uh, new book, and that should be available in this summer for the members too. Okay, do you remember what was your best trade risk reward ratio? Um, I don't really remember exactly the best one, but the um, I think uh, the April I did pretty good because on the last one Euro AUD I got like uh, 352 pips and um, yeah on that one I think uh, it was like one to one to thirty uh, risk to reward ratio, so it was a good trade. But that's all possible based on this um, this analysis. So I take take I take trades and I exit, you know, very small uh, small losses. I uh, exit break even, but when it comes to exchanging the profit, I keep holding it. So that's why um, usually my risk to reward ratio is going to be greater by the end of the month. Hi, Greed. Good to see you. Good to see you. That was a crazy week for me, but uh, still here waiting for the next trading week. Sure, sure. How many trades do you take per month? Um, it depends, right? Depends. Uh, this week I only took one trade, right? And last week I only took three trades. So this whole month I, I have been only taking like uh, four trades. <laughs> so I have been lazy. I have been uh, pretty lazy these days because I don't see any trends. So instead, I read books. I read more books than usual, and I create this uh, this PDF, and I revise my website, things like that. And I backtest uh, run by running the Forex test of four. But today I start to see some pairs. Right, these three pairs are on the trend. So probably I will come back to the chart uh, sometime next week and focus on these uh, three pairs and start to look for the potential uh, trading edges uh, next week. So maybe you will see me taking trades next week. Maybe not. We're sure. We'll see. All right. So yeah, again, thank you for joining on this second live. Um, and uh, sorry about the issue that happened just earlier, right? Um, I think it was uh, based on the YouTube platform, but uh, yeah, thank you for joining on this one too. And so, like I said, right? Like I said, I will talk about all these strategies based on this case, a trading strategy, and I will create the playlist on YouTube, and you will see all these future lives, so that you can fully understand how I take trades. And eventually, I wanted to take trades like myself, as I do. All right, so uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. And tomorrow on Saturday, I will do uh, Ichimoku book review, original book review that I have just started recently. So I will take uh, you know a couple pages from this book, and I will introduce what exactly Goichi Hosoda says right about uh, Ichimoku Kinko here. All right, so I will see you tomorrow's live. Otherwise, I will see you in the future lives, right? So, stay gold, everyone, and bye for now. Matane, thank you.